What's up my stat stars? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the 2024 AP Statistics free response question number four, which was a probability-based question. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure I explain it fully and completely. All right, let's look at the problem. In an online game, players move through a virtual world collecting geodes, a type of hollow rock. When broken open, these geodes contain crystals of different colors that are useful in the game. A red crystal is the most useful crystal in the game. Ooh. The color of the crystal in each geode is independent, and the probability that a geode contains a red crystal is 0.08 or 8%. All right, let's dive into the first set of questions, part A. Sarah, a player, will collect and open geodes until a red crystal is found. I'm going to stop right there. Until a red crystal is found, that is telling me very clearly that we have ourselves a geometric distribution because we're only going to stop once we get our first red crystal. That's all Sarah cares about is getting that first red crystal. So the first question says calculate the mean of the distribution of the number of geodes Sarah will open until a red crystal is found. All you have to do is go to that formula sheet on the front page. There's a row for discrete random variables. There's a row for binomial random variables. And there's a row for geometric random variables, which is exactly what this is. And the mean for the um, number of crystals that she has to open until she gets a red one is going to be a pretty simple formula. That simple formula is 1 divided by P. So once again, we're defining X. X is the number of geodes Sarah will have to open until she gets that first red crystal. Very simple formula. 1 divided by P, 1 divided by 0.08 is 12.5. So in the long run, she's going to have to look at an average of 12.5 crystals, or geodes, excuse me, until she gets her first red crystal. Could come sooner, could come later, which is why part two wants us to calculate the standard deviation because obviously how many crystals she looks at or how many geodes she looks at to get her red crystal could deviate. Could take shorter than 12.5 could take longer once again the formula for this is on that front page it's literally directly next to the formula for mean and here is that formula we're going to take the square root of 1 minus p divided by p so for us that's 1 minus 0.08 which is 0.92 inside that square root divided by 0.08 do that math work we get 11.990 now they don't ask us to interpret these values so we have to do nothing more than calculate those values all right now Another player, Conrad, decides to play the game and will stop opening geodes after finding a red crystal or when four geodes have been opened. So he's not going to do this forever until he gets a red crystal. He's only going to do it until he either gets a red crystal or he opens four. So why is the number of geodes Conrad will open? The table below shows a partially completed probability distribution. So obviously the probability he gets a red crystal in his very first geode is 8%. Happens right away, no failures, success right away, 0.08. Now what about the probability he has to open two geodes? Now that means that the first one must have not been a red crystal, which is 0.92. And then finally that second one was, and if you do the math, 0.92 times 0.08 is 0.0736. But notice these next two for three and four are blank, and that's exactly what they're going to ask you to calculate. So in part one, they say calculate the probability that y equals three. Now, the only way he could get to three crystals is if the first one, not red, second one, not red, and then the third one, yay, we get that red one. Now, again, this is the only way it's going to happen where he gets his first red crystal on that third geode. Not, not, success. So multiply 0 0.92 times 0 0.92 times 0 0.08, and we get 0 0.067712. You could probably round that to 0 0.0677. I kept all the decimals just to be nice and perfect. So we could fill that value in right there. All right, next up is the probability that he gets four geodes to get his first red crystal. So that would be 0 0.92. 0 0.92, 0 0.92, no red, no red, no red. And then finally, on that fourth red, he get, or excuse me, four, I keep messing that up. On that fourth geode, he gets that first successful red one. So multiply that, we get 0 0.062295.04, but that's not the end of it. If that's all you did, you're going to get this marked wrong. Because remember, it, does, it says that he's going to continue opening geodes until he gets a red crystal or he gets four. He's not going to go past four. Obviously, the situation I just described right here is a total of four geodes, but there's another way he never gets a red crystal, and that's also going to cause him to stop and open four geodes. 
So that would be not get a uh, red crystal, 0.92, not get a red crystal, not get a red crystal, not get a red crystal, 0 0.92 times 0 0.92 times 0 0.92 times 0 0.92 is 0.71639296. Now, both of those situations end with him getting four geodes. One of them, he does get that red crystal, but the other one, well, unfortunately, he didn't get a red crystal. He opened four geodes and he's out of luck, but he's done. Like he's done, he's not going past because the question was very clear on saying he's also gonna stop either when he gets that red crystal or he opens four. So you have to understand that there's two ways that he could open four geodes. No red, no red, no red, red, yay! Or no red, no red, no red, no red. Oh, bummer, never got a red crystal. Add those two together because both of them result in four geodes being opened. So we get a final probability of 0.778688 or point. 7787 if you round it. All right. Now the next question says consider the table and results from part B, the figure out the, the table that we just figured out. Calculate the mean of the distribution of the number of geodes Conrad will open. Show your work. Now that's the most important part because we can't have our calculator do it, but it says to show our work. So first let's bring up that table now that it's filled in with three and four. And how do you find an expected value? Well, all you gotta do is multiply each outcome by its probability and add them all together. So pretty simple work there. So we're gonna multiply one times 0.08, two times 0.0736, uh, 0736, yep, three times 0 0.0677 and four times 0 0.7787. Add all that together and we get 3.5451. Geo, so that means, well, what does that mean? Well, that's exactly what the next part says. Interpret the mean of the distribution that we just found in the previous part. And my interpretation would be, in the long run, Conrad can expect to open an average of 3.541 geodes until he gets his first red crystal or opens four. Remember, an expected value is an average in the long run. So if he were to do this over and over again, go until he opens up four geodes or gets a red crystal, go until he opens up four geodes or gets a red crystal, and just repeat, 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 and he's either going to get an outcome of a one, two, three, or four. So he maybe kept a journal, and every time that he does this, he's going to write down, oh, three geodes. Oh, four geos. Oh, four geos. In the long run, if you were to repeat this many times, we expect to average three, three point five four five one geodes until he either A gets that first crystal or B opens four. Now, if you somehow messed up this probability, like you forgot about the option of fail, 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 no red, no red, no red, no red. Well, if you did all of this work correct with that wrong value, you could probably still get some points for getting part C correct. But this for a probability-based question, I thought was relatively easy as long as you knew the geometric um, distribution model and you know that the formulas for the mean and standard deviation back in part A are on that um, formula sheet. Now you might say, well, why didn't I use those formulas here? Because the formula for the mean of a geometric distribution is for going on forever, right? Because it's we're going to keep going until we get that first red crystal. There was no end. This was actually, the problem we're looking at right now is actually not a complete geometric problem because we added that condition that, you know, we're going to stop at four geodes no matter what. So yes, getting one, two, and three, that was geometric. And then part of getting four was geometric because we get... Um, no, no, no success, and that was our fourth geode. But that option of getting all four failures all of a sudden is not necessarily geometric because we never got our first success, which is why to calculate the mean for this part right here, we had to do the discrete random variable formula where we multiply each outcome by its probability to get that 3.5451. All right, hopefully that made sense, and hopefully you got at least, you know, two, three, maybe all four points on this question, but it's a really good one, and it was fairly simple. So hopefully you did well.